Hi, I'm Chao Wei Huang from the Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine and Frederick Health Hospital. Today, we're going to have a short discussion on how to choose your kissing and pot balloons uh, in bifurcation PCI. Uh, first, some definitions uh, so that we're talking about uh, the same thing. I am going to call the main vessel uh, proximal to the bifurcation the parent vessel uh, with a diameter of D parent. I am going to call the larger branch of the parent vessel distal to the bifurcation the main branch, and its diameter is DMB. And I'm going to call the smaller branch after the bifurcation the side branch, and its diameter is DSB. So uh, back in 1926, uh, Cecil Murray uh, was the first to establish a relationship uh, between blood vessel diameters at a bifurcation. Uh, he based it uh, on a purely uh, theoretical argument. He argued that the ideal size of the blood vessel is one that minimizes the amount of energy that is needed to drive blood through it. If a blood vessel is too small, uh, then it will take too much energy to drive blood through it. If a blood vessel is too large, uh, then the volume of blood needed to fill it will be too large as well, and this then becomes an energy burden. The uh, details for how Murray derived his formula can be found in his uh, 1926 PNAS paper. But in essence, uh, Murray proposed that for all bifurcations, the cube of the diameter of the parent vessel must be equal to the sum of the cube of the diameter of the main branch and the cube of the diameter of the side branch. Now, needless to say, these calculations are tough to do in your head in the middle of a case. And I would venture to guess that most interventionalists have never even heard of Murray's law. By far the most commonly used rule for sizing balloons in bifurcation PCI is Finet's law. Back in 2007, uh, Gerard Finet looked at 173 bifurcations under IVIS and found that the ratio of the diameter of the parent vessel to the sum of the diameters of the main branch and the side branch is actually remarkably constant. And this relationship is given by this linear formula, uh, which we now know as Finet's law. Uh, the diameter of the parent vessel is equal to the sum of the diameters of the main branch and the side branch multiplied by 0 0.6678. And since 0 0.678 is so close to two thirds, this is also known as the two thirds rule. And interestingly, in 2009, uh, Polish researchers found that Finet's law is actually but a special case of Murray's law. So how do you use Finet's law? Well, uh, suppose you were trying to figure out what pot balloon you needed to use in a bifurcation case. Well, in this case, if your main branch is 3.5 millimeters and your side branch is 2.5 millimeters, then by Finet's law, the parent vessel diameter uh, should be uh, 4.07 millimeters. So rather than choosing uh, haphazardly, you've now just calculated that you'll need to choose a 4.0 millimeter NC balloon to do your pot. And here's another example. Suppose you were trying to decide the, side, the size of your side branch kissing balloon, and you've determined, say, by OCT, that the main branch was 3.0 millimeters and the parent vessel was 4.0 millimeters. Well, in this case, Finet's law will tell you that the side branch diameter should be 2.9 millimeters. So that means that you should be choosing either a 2.75 or a 3.0 millimeter balloon for kissing uh, angioplasty in the side branch. Um, if mental arithmetic is not your forte, then Mitsudo's proposal published in uh, 2008 is even easier. Uh, these Japanese researchers uh, did IVIS of the left main in 21 bifurcations and noted that the parent vessel, in this case the left main, generally stretches uh, asymmetrically, like an ellipse, uh, to hug the kissing balloons. Um, they used this to establish that the square of the, uh, of the parent vessel diameter is actually approximately the sum of the squares of the diameters of the side branch and the main branch. Kind of like Murray's law, but using squares instead of cubes. So how the heck is this any easier? Well, it's easier because of this nice table they included in the paper. This table uh, gives the diameter that one should expect in the parent vessel when using kissing balloons of various sizes. So for instance, say you're trying to figure out a pot balloon in the case of a 3.0 millimeter main branch and a 2.5 millimeter side branch. If you look at this table, you'll see that the parent vessel in that case should be 3.91 millimeters. So you'll need to pick a roughly 4.0 millimeter pot balloon. 
Or say you're trying to figure out a side branch balloon size in the case of a 5.0 millimeter parent vessel and a 4 millimeter main branch. Well, again, if you look at this table, you'll see that uh, you should choose a 3.0 millimeter balloon for the side branch. Now, if you double check this table with what you would get with a Finet's law, you'll notice that Finet's law will tend to underestimate uh, the size of the parent vessel a little bit and overestimate uh, the size of the uh, side branch a little bit. So here's my rule of thumb. For choosing pot balloons, if Finet's law gives you a diameter between two balloon sizes, well, choose the larger balloon. For choosing a side branch balloon, if uh, Finet gives you a diameter between two balloon sizes, then choose the smaller balloon. All right, uh, take home messages. Uh, we went over two systematic ways of uh, sizing kissing balloons and pot balloons, Finet's law and Mitsudo's proposal. We also talked about Murray's law, uh, but it's not really used clinically. Uh, Finet's law, also known as the two-thirds rule, uh, requires some simple arithmetic and is by far the most commonly used method to size kissing and pot balloons. Mitsudo's proposal is nice in that it gives you this nice table that you can just refer to uh, if you uh, uh, post it in your cath lab somewhere. And remember that Finet's law will tend to underestimate uh, the size of the parent vessel a little bit and overestimate uh, the size of the side branch a little. So if we're choosing a pot balloon, now if Finet's law gives you a diameter between two balloon sizes, choose a larger one. And if we're choosing a side branch balloon, if Finet uh, gives you a diameter between two balloon sizes, choose the smaller one. Thank you for watching.